Welcome back to another episode of the Mythic Draft Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Pumpkin Spice Ron. Ooh, are you actually drinking pumpkin spice? I know. Uh, we'll get the pumpkin spice coffee every now and again at work. And Fippin gives us a hard time. As he should. Bunch of sissies drink your pumpkin spice. Well, I don't know why you drink coffee. It's terrible anyways. As I drink my second cup of the day. <laughs> it's a bitter bean. Yeah. Put a little cream, a little sugar. It's delightful. Yeah. I bought a coffee for my firefighter, the 778 year old one. Yeah. The other day. And he was like, I want extra yeah. cream and extra sugar in my medium coffee. So he basically uh, had cream and sugar with a hint of uh, coffee. Yeah. I think the worst I ever saw was the deputy chief in Ocean City. I saw his order one time and it was like 16 sugars. Holy. It's like, Jesus, are you a hummingbird? Good Lord. Hmm. Yeah. At that point, you don't like coffee. You just like the ritual of coffee, right? Yeah. Just switch yeah. to I hot mean, tea. I, 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 I do like hot tea. It's nice. But there are some mornings I like coffee. That's fine. I think of tea as more as an afternoon thing. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like tea time. Because you're British. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm very British. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, I drink tea all through the day. Switch to decaf afternoon. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. Unless I'm leaving the gym. Sometimes I'd like a nice caffeinated beverage after the gym. Yeah. You get a little headache or? No, no. It's, no. You know, I just feel like I reward myself with a nice Dunkin' tea. Hmm. Has zero calories, but you know, it still feels like a little treat. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel with bubbly water now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say that day I was drinking one at lunch. I was like, yeah, this is my treat drink for the day. They're like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> I don't drink soda. I can't remember the last soda I had. Mm. It's been that long. Well, I'm... I had one Friday because my partner brought me a little ginger ale, which was delightful. As I was typing up a report, but yeah. you should back that out of our hands. No, <laughs> you're not drinking the devil's juice. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Now I don't know what it says, but yeah, Friday evening, my wife was like, "This is like the happiest you've been coming home from work in a long time." I was like, "Yeah, yeah," because the Guys and gals at D-Shift were nice enough to let me play paramedic for a day. I don't think it's because you got to play paramedic. I think it's because you weren't in admin for a day. Yeah, oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> Just being out of that environment. Yeah, yeah. I was telling my buddy that this is the longest streak in a long time that I haven't had a day off. And it really feels dragging. <laughs> time to take a day off. Uh, yeah, I would love to. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know I get one in the for October, <clears throat> but it's what I didn't. I didn't take it off day off in August, September, and I, the last day off I had was July Fourth. Wow, which for me is weird. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't like taking the five day, you know, five shift in a row break or a whole month off. I like to have a. I just spread it out through the year. Yeah. Yeah. What's like I saw the thing they were talking about uh, people going to the four day work week. Yes. And I was like, would you rather have it on Monday or Friday? I guess I'm weird. I'd rather have it on Wednesday. That's what my wife said. <laughs> I'd rather work to have a day off, work to have two off. Yeah. That's what she said. You get more stuff done in the middle of the week. Yeah. I'd rather just be retired. Well, yeah. And, uh, which you and I found out that's closer than we thought. Yeah. Well, mine was only 30 days closer than I thought. Yours is a whole year closer than you thought. <laughs> I told my wife that she's like, holy crap, we've got a plan. Yeah. Yeah. At least have <laughs> uh, some sort of idea. Yeah. I, 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 even mine is pretty close at this point. Mm. Yeah. 
Which, yeah. good. Yeah. We should serve our time and move out of our prison <laughs> sentence. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see it as giving somebody else an opportunity and allowing myself to enjoy, you know, the labor I put in for 25 years. I always tell my friends, like, the reason we can retire early is because we put our bodies through hell for 25 years. It's going to yeah. take me two to three years to become normal. Oh, yeah. You know, to get used yeah. to sleeping and eating correctly. Yeah. And for my beard to fill in. I'm going to have a beard for the first time. I oh, got my hair cut on Thursday or Friday. I can't remember. Thursday. That's what I say. You're at work on Friday. Yeah, that's what I remember Friday. <laughs> and <clears throat> the hair the hairstylist was talking. She's like, well, do you ever change up your hairstyle? I'm like, I'm not going to change my hairstyle until I'm done work. It's not worth messing with. And she's like, well, what about growing a beard? I'm like, you just broke my heart. I can't have a beard. I've never been able to enjoy my <laughs> beard. Yeah. By the time I get it, it'll probably be full of gray. Yeah. My youngest <clears throat> did ask if I was doing No Shave November again this year. I was like, I probably will. I can't. The mustache alone is... Uh... <sighs> Creepy? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a tough... It's a tough sell for me. Yeah. You know, full beard with a mustache. Cool. Mm -hmm. Any other combination seems weird. Yeah. You know, mutton chops. (laughs) Burn side. Go with a burn (laughs) side at work. Yeah. I mean, I can make an argument. You can grow a quote unquote beard. You can have a soul patch. Yeah. Yeah. A one inch by one inch tuft. Yes, the one inch by one inch <laughs> tough that we it kills fought so me that that's to, it <laughs> fought so hard to put that at our thing. Uh, and the only person I know that ever did that was Chainsaw. Mm-hmm. Just because he could. Yeah, nah, John Gray did it too. That's nah, yeah. Ozzy did a lot of things. He did a lot of things. <sighs> yeah, yeah. yeah time off is definitely important, though. I mean, well, in. We did the math after the assistant chief meeting the other day. And if every shift has 22, there's only like 1200 hours extra for people to take off. Yeah. Not, we, we did everybody having to take off. Um, what do we say? 196 hours every year because of 98 of or 96 a holiday and 96 of annual. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we just figured it on the minimum. I said, this mm-hmm. is not factoring in, you know, that a lot of our folks are getting 10, 12, 14 hours a month. Yeah. So. I, I have to drag my time down when I can so that I don't yeah. get messed up at the end of the year. Right. You know, and that helped God, God help us. So we get like a snow day, like, oh, yeah. you know, where the mayor says, Oh, we're going to get everybody else gets Christmas. The six, the twenty sixth off. It's like, oh god damn it. <laughs> yeah, yep. That's eight hours of recognition to burn somewhere. Yeah, I mean, they're mm-hmm. just gonna have to let us sell it back. Eventually. Yeah, it's. I mean, if we actually get our shifts back to where they should be, it gets even worse. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. We should be it, sitting around twenty four per yeah. shift to keep down the overtime, and uh, mm-hmm. the number gets real hard then. Well, you've got to bump up the number of people off, but then you're, yeah. but then you're right back cutting against. yourself. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's a lose, lose, lose. Yeah. It's this vicious cycle where if you, yep. if you add just enough to get mm-hmm. to where you need to, you have to add another day off, which brings you back down. Mm-hmm. So you really need to add extra. Mm-hmm. It's, you know. Yep. And then there's more people that have to take off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know the other day a shift had worked. They're like, look, we have the staffing for this day. I can let four people off and they're like, okay, we'll try it. What happens? Somebody calls out sick. Right. So it, yeah. Instead of it being zero cost, just getting time off, it ended up incurring a bunch of overtime. Right. So. And it's, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Staffing yeah. is a nightmare. Oh yeah. 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 And we're, it's not like we're, we're so, in the like pro- probably most of the fire departments in the country, at least in the U.S., I would say, we are so at that point of like just 
having enough resources, so we can't cut back resources. If we, you know, other departments, bigger, big departments, be like, oh, we can brown out an engine and we'll be okay. We yeah. can't really do that. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a, it's a vicious cycle. It is. It is. That has really no great answer. Sadly, um, other than retirement. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is one of the arguments you make that I could make for 20 year retirement instead of 25. Yeah. You, know, you get rid of your top earners of time, makes it a lot easier yeah. to manage. Yeah. Cost the city less money in the long run. Mm-hmm. Less, way less workers' mm-hmm. comp claims. Yeah. Because weirdly, as you age and break down, the job gets harder. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, but we also have one dinosaur that wants to stay till he's 112. That's fair. Do you think there's ever been a career that got slower in fire and EMS? Like, our careers have, I mean, the depart- department has just gotten so much busier than when <sighs> we started. Yeah, do you think there ever has been somebody who's like, Wow, I'm glad we're finally slowing down in my 24th year. Uh, the beach? Does it slow down? I mean, they get their slow months. Yeah. But they're not, It's. They're, I'm sure they're still trending up, right? Yeah, but the thing with them is they up staff to offset that. They, they do. They do. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, the only way I would think of it is if if there was a like a vacation spot that then got really unpopular. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's a it's a it's rough in there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure I like mean, out west or like Midwest or middle of the country, people that were on like if you were on an a rescue company or something that served Route 66. And then when he put the other big collector in, everybody That's started fair. using that. So 66, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, it went from 10 calls a day to two. <laughs> that would drive me nuts. That was, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. <clears throat> I mean, I thought I was going to the retirement station when I got assigned to station one in the first place. That was a lie. <laughs> well, originally it was the vacation station. It was. <sighs> it's not anymore. Mm-mm. And it's only amazing. going to get worse. That area, the, it increased in, well, the age of the population plus the number of, you know, independent living and elderly oh, living. I, it's it's look, it's amazing how that increases call volume. Yeah, but look at the number of apartment buildings that they've grown oh, up yeah. in the city. You yeah. know, that's that's the problem with these city planners or city. I I, I don't even want to call them planners because I don't think they plan <laughs> these city. <laughs> resource Mm -hmm. gatherers is they never think about, well, I can approve 30 extra thousand extra housing into my city. Okay. Mm. Now service it. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, I think about like, we give them tax offsets. (laughs) But I think of Vegas, which just added all those houses and houses and houses. And then they were like, Oh, we don't have water. Like the fundamental thing that you need. They didn't think about (laughs) When they grew their city. Yeah. It rains. <laughs> no. It <does>. But <laughs> this, I mean, that's, that's a, it's yeah. a problem with how cities in a, at least again, in America, in my experience to run is you have these very short term planning cycles for long term problems. Right. You know, there's not guys who are like, I've been working 48 years in the city planner's office. I'm watching trends and, you know, yeah. working to combat that because they get replaced every three years. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that should be a thing. Like, okay, you want to be hired for a city planner? Awesome. I need you to make, <laughs> here is our current city in Sim City, <laughs> And yeah. I want you to add X, Y, and Z and keep it running for the next 45 days. That's your, t- that's your test to see if you get hired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good test. I mean, yeah. I just hey, who knows, maybe we throw a Godzilla attack in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I look at like 
Sussex mm-hmm. County and how they exploded in population and didn't mm-hmm. increase their road sizes. Well, like, yeah, specifically along having the roads beach. that can service the people. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wait, there's nothing wrong, wrong with Route 9. <laughs> it's delightful yeah. to run a single lane highway that far. Yeah, it's great. It's God. great. And then to put. Well, I mean, Georgetown hundred... is the hub of Delaware. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's called. Is that what it's the. Next but it thing? is. Every, to get to anywhere in Delaware, you have to right. go through Georgetown. That's true. That part is true. Mm-hmm. All roads lead to Georgetown, just like Rome. <laughs> Maniac. <sighs> Good old Delaware. Yeah. Good old Brooksy. Yeah, that's a thing a lot of people don't realize. They're like, oh, yeah, we had this and this and this. And that's like, yeah, you. Well, it's my development. You know, they clearly did not plan for people living in these houses just right. based on the on street parking or lack thereof. Yeah, you're. The parking in your neighborhood is pretty terrible. Yeah. It, Which they, I'm fortunate frontage. that my neighbor is nice. So we park our third vehicle in front of his house. But that's also because you guys get taxed by your frontage, right? Yes. So they tried to like narrow your frontage, which meant you didn't have enough parking. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, not a sustainable system. No. You yeah, well. I mean, again, your neighborhood, you moved in there. There were five houses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many are there glorious. now? It, I, I, a bajillion. Right. And yeah. how did that yeah, affect? A bunch of townhouses. And when the new developer bought it out, he actually subdivided a couple lots. So there are some lots that were supposed to be one house that have two. Hmm. Yeah. So that really screws up. So, you know, that one lot would have handled parking, but now you split that into two and yeah, how's that each one of them going to have handle two cars? Yep. And, you know, how did that affect EMS, mm-hmm. police, oh, yeah. fire? You know, that no thought to that stuff. No. At all. No. That's why Ron Wismer for governor <clears throat> 2028. Yep. And encourage all your city officials to play SimCity. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine that? Every six months, city council meeting. So uh, we're going to bring up everybody's account today. <laughs> oh, <how> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, council moment. Your uh, whole half your city's on fire. You're off. Yeah. Relegated. Bring in the next one. <laughs> yeah. God, that would be a great social experiment, though. Uh, yeah. I feel like the sad part is we're running that social experiment in real time. It's yeah. Out. <laughs> no. That's the that's the real issue. I'm not bringing it up to the fire chief one day. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun meeting. Yes. No, I'll bring it to my boss. I'm sure he'll jump right on it. Uh, he'll know exactly what SimCity is. Yes. <laughs> SimCity? Who's that? Is that one of our people? Uh... Yeah. Have you uh, running out to see Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice today? I have n- no, no. Well, mainly because my wife is in Annapolis right now. So, oh, yeah. She spent the. Uh, she went up yesterday to uh, go out with her friend, have dinner. She hadn't seen her in like a year. Sure. It's like go go. So yeah, maybe are you? No. Yeah. I. I... I like the idea of the movie. I'm not sure I want to put myself through the hell of going to the <laughs> theater. theater for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did you see that the Borderlands movie is already on Prime? Oh, that's a big sneeze. Uh, no, I did not see, but I, I'm not shocked. Yeah. I, I mean, based on the reviews I heard, I was like, yeah, no, whatever. Yeah, I was, we were flipping through last night to try to find something to watch. I was like, oh, look. Borderlands is on Prime. Did not rent it. <laughs> no, but the the problem is that movie still made money. It didn't make a lot of money, but it still ended up making money. Yeah. yeah. So no lessons will have been learned. No, no. So instead, I mean, my youngest and I watched The Road Warrior. I mean, can't go wrong there. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a classic movie. Explaining to her that by the timeline of this movie, we should be dressing like that. So. Is that the timeline of the movie? Yeah, I, I want to say that the ever, collapse ever, was like 2023. Did they ever say the dates? Hmm. I don't know, Marit. That's a series that the first one sets a tone that is not followed in the rest of them. Oh, yeah. 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 That tell, I don't want to know, like, the actual timeline it was made. <laughs> right. When is the Rogue uh, Warriors? What year is the Rogue Warriors set in? Timeline events from the original. This is the portion of the show brought to you by Google. Yeah. So, oh gosh. Oh, get away, Ed. Mad Max, December 6, 1984, was written on the Highway 9, Sector 26 sign. The Halls of Justice said it was established 1983. Yeah. Golly day. Yep. So the Road Warrior was three years after that. Thunderdome was in the 90s. Huh. Checks out. Yeah. According to Dates Private, uh, the original trilogy starts in the mid 80s and ends in 2005. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that didn't really come to pass. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> the, uh, <clears throat> doesn't look like a life I want to live. No, no. A lot of bad breath, smelly people. And also, you know, no deodorant and, yeah. you, know, you know, like water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let alone, I mean, <clears throat> you're either going to work at the bullet farm, the maggot farm. Right. <sighs> I feel like you want to be at the bullet farm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, though. I mean, one mishap and kaboom. <clears throat> it's not like they have a lot of safety. <clears throat> no. You know, OSHA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> OSHA. <laughs> They've got an inspector that comes through once a week. Yeah. It's a, that would be awesome. Seeing the road warrior OSHA. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, I said, it's a good series. Yeah. Every movie is totally different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's one of those just enjoy the movie. Yeah. Just enjoy the movie. Don't think about it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I think I'll see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice probably when it comes out to streaming. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. I will watch it, but I'm probably not going to. uh... Yeah. I mean, we've had this discussion before. I'm not a huge theater person. Uh, no, yeah, the mm. yeah, the experience is just mm. not great. No, and they, I feel like they purposely make it worse sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it's like the opposite of what you would think. You would think they would be warm and inviting, and trying to get you in there, and it's like. They're grumpy. They're popcorn's burnt. <laughs> Again, I I still go back to popcorn is a terrible movie treat. Yeah, you get that one shell stuck on your uvula. Yeah, it, it always gets stuck in your in your damn teeth. Oh yeah, yeah. And you always, regardless, you always end up with freaking baby teeth in the bottom of your bag of popcorn. The unpop kernels. Is that what you call unpop kernels? <laughs> That's what they look like. Okay. That's terrifying. It's a terrifying image. Uh, yeah. You accidentally get one of those and a handful of popcorn. Oh, God. Hmm. No. Then there's the people that mix the M&Ms and popcorn. Mm-mm. Two things I don't want to eat. Yeah. Yeah, does anybody really like an M M&M? and I, 
I get like people from the sixties when you didn't have a choice. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they didn't realize that this, you know, there's other things other than this little turd of chocolate wrapped in candy coating. Right. Like, well, they hadn't figured out how to stuff up, <clears throat> you know, into it or. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. What other people leave? Pretzels? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what kind of M&Ms there are yeah. in the world. Oh, God, there's too many. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I find myself wanting less and less candy in my life. Yeah. Like if you're gonna eat candy, Every now and again, a couple Reese PCs. That's about it. No, never that. That well, yeah, you don't like peanut butter. A nice uh, Twix bar. That'll do your job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the mini Twix. Because full Twix, that's way too much. It is a lot. It's, it's yeah. a lot. Yeah. God, everybody listening is like, God, these guys are old. <laughs> I got my ribbon candy in the other room. Ribbon candy or my uh, taffy. Oh, God. Taffy. Yeah. Is... Are you talking about like saltwater taffy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the gummy candy that has a vague hint of the flavor it's supposed to have. Well, what's the flavor supposed to be? Salt water? Whoopsie, but they have, yeah, well, just plain taffy, yeah, but, you know, there's, they'll have strawberry or something like that, and it's like, maybe, I don't know. I think it's just psychological. It's like tricks. They just color it different and your mind thinks it's a different flavor. Are you telling me that the tricks flavors are different? Aren't different. I don't think they are. Oh, I don't actually, I don't care. Tricks isn't one of the things I ever cared for. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like we've lost the plot enough to go to topic one. Yeah. Topic one. How much football have you watched this year? Ooh, about five seconds. Oh, okay. Did you watch any of this kickoff? No, I did not see the kickoffs. It is the dumbest thing mm. I have ever seen. Oh, because they have the new rule now, don't they? The, the new rule happened this year. Yeah. And here's my understanding of it, because I don't want to listen to any experts, is we're just going to mm. kick touchbacks all day. Funsies. Why, why, <laughs> why, yeah, I say, why don't you just... Oh, they scored? Okay, then the other team starts on the 20. Sure. I, yeah. I, at this point, that's what it... Well, except you start on the 30 now. What? Yeah, I, I believe they start on the 30. Oh, my gosh. Uh, or, yeah, I, I remember a few years ago it was a 25. I thought that was yeah. bad enough. Uh, I think it's the 30 now. Yeah. Make them work for it. Put them on the 5. The <laughs> defending or the receiving team is not allowed to move until the ball has landed. So you just have this, like, I don't even know why anybody moves. Just, Oh my gosh. Make it a tick, a touchback and be done with it. And hit. Wait, so you can't even move to like, try and receive the ball. No, they, the, the only, the, well, I guess the, the catcher can move to try to catch the okay. ball, but everybody else can't move until the ball hits an imaginary landing zone. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's bonkers. So if you have somebody on the kicking team with wheels, they can get past everybody because they can't move and destroy that person about to catch it. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. But you basically have to like, to me, just looking at it as a, on the receiving side of the special teams, you have to look back, watch that the ball lands, and then try to turn around and hit somebody. It feels like a disaster waiting to happen. Yeah. Because you're basically defenseless and these guys are running at you. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, I thought it, I thought they were trying to make it safer. Well, that's their, that's one. Well, supposedly, because I did look into this a little bit, football decided that the kickoffs are too boring and they don't impact the game enough. Well, give them a baseball bat or something. (laughs) (laughs) Pop up mines. Yeah. I watched, Two quarters of football, and I watched, during those two quarters of football, something like 30 penalties. Jeez. Insane. Whatever happened to, they're getting paid millions of dollars, let them play like animals for 60 minutes. That's kind of my point. 
What? Yeah. What? What are we doing in this game now? It yeah. has become. Lyle terrible. Lozado is weeping. <laughs> Joe Lombardi's not happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so bad. It's like I don't know. It's unwatchable now. I feel like it's yeah, become that's... unwatchable. Yeah, I. <sighs> hmm. I think sports I in, in general are unwatchable. Mm-hmm. And well, that's remember, what was it, last year in baseball they added the pitch clock? Right. Because they finally realized that the game is the slowest thing on earth. People were very upset about the pitch clock. The yeah. pitch clock is actually nice. <laughs> yeah. Because you can yeah. watch a, a baseball game. Now, what they didn't do is they didn't adjust their ticket prices. What? Because you're watching a, you know, 65 minute game instead of a three hour game. Yeah. But they still charge you, you know, 400 bucks for a ticket. Well, the, yeah, the tickets for any professional sport are ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And then add on to that, you got to pay for parking. And then, heaven forbid, you get, you know, a hot dog and a beer or a soda or something there. I mean, to oh, take a family four to a professional sports game, it's probably. 250 300 easily oh it's more than that i i can so i took my brother to the phillies game for his birthday yeah a, a beer was 18 dollars. 18 dollars 18 dollars bottle was water? this a handcrafted beer right there <laughs> sir <was> giggling <laughs> yeah it yes. should be like 10 cents <laughs> we used to pay it well, no i mean it should, it should be for a case yeah, I was about okay. to say, you should be like yeah, $2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a pretzel. It was 5 bucks for a soft pretzel. But, but was it the size of your arm? No, it was a Five? normal size pretzel. Oh my gosh. Parking was $25. <laughs> the tickets for three tickets, which mm. they were nice tickets. They weren't like, you know, club level or anything. Three tickets yeah. was $500. Mm-hmm. And that's what mm-hmm. you're, you're going to this event. And it's like, yes, we want you to come to the event, but we also want you to pay. That would be like going to the movies and be like, did you pay for parking? Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, the whole event was, well, it was it's my brother's stupid fault for being born, born in July. It was hot as balls. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. should have been born in a much more reasonable month. Mm hmm. <clears throat> but well, you would it, think it's... they would design the stadiums so they would get optimum shade for oh, their God, no. fans. God no, <laughs> no, because then you're not going to drive buy more beer. Yeah, if you're sweating to death. You got to buy more liquids to replace that sweat and death. <sighs> God, was it at least like a 24 ounce beer? No, <laughs> God no. It's probably like an eight ounce beer. <laughs> I think it was a sixteen ounce beer for eighteen dollars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's it was oh more than a dollar gosh. an ounce. Wow! Wow! Insane. But even the minor league hmm. games, like the couple of years ago for his birthday, I took him to a minor league game. Same. Th- I mean, it wasn't the p- ticket price was cheap, but everything else was stadium price food, stadium price, you know, beer. It was crazy. Wow. It's just not worth it. No. My shift wants to go to a hockey game. I'm like, I don't want to go to a hockey game with you maniacs. I'm not paying that much money to be distracted and not watch the hockey game. Yeah. Is hockey the same thing cost wise? Uh I don't I don't know what it is now. Hockey used to be probably the most expensive per game. Oh. See, I figured where it originated in Canada, it'd be more or less expensive because it'd be, you know, super polite and you know <laughs> Oh, we don't want to overcharge you for this. There's some really angry hockey fans right now because I don't think it actually came from Canada. I'm sure it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's from like Scotland. Rage at me all you want, folks. Yeah. 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 You just angered the whole hockey world. Yeah. Yeah. You know how much I know about hockey? There's a lot of icing. (laughs) (laughs) I remember that one time we watched part of a hockey game at work. I was like, was that icing? No, Chris, that wasn't icing. Was that icing? No, Chris, that wasn't icing. (laughs) But that's why I, that's another thing that struck me about the, the Eagles played in Brazil this year for the opening game. Oh, that was just a money grab. Oh, it was totally a money grab. But I just think about all those people from Brazil who are like, what is this shit where the game stops every three minutes? 
Like yeah. They're used to watching soccer where it's like continuous action for 90 minutes. Yeah. That football is not that anymore. No. F- football is penalty, 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 penalty. Oh, they play to play, penalty, 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 play to play. Half time. <laughs> Half time. It's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, and the teams were told not to wear green this year. Yeah. <laughs> God, I tell you. The, just, just the Eagles uh, were told not to wear green. Oh, Cause really? Because they, they were the quote unquote home team. Oh. Yeah, so home teams aren't allowed <clears> to <throat> disrespect that field by wearing green. Gotcha. Or you get shot, apparently. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were like convoys taking the players to and from the stadium. It's like maybe it's not worth the uh, you know, uh, well, NFL, they, all they see is possible dollar signs. Oh, yeah. So that, that's why they they're doing. sold somebody a jersey, they're happy. They're doing five games in London this year? Really? Or is it four games in London and one game in Germany or something like that? It's crazy. Gosh. <clears throat> they're trying very hard to make, try to get a team out in England. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Can you imagine that, how bad that would be? Like, if you were, like, the Raiders on the West Coast playing <laughs> yeah, yeah. in England? Oh, why? God. I think there was talk of like moving the Jaguars over there because, mm. you know, nobody really it's goes Jacksonville. to Jacksonville. It's Jacksonville. It's, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's be honest, Florida. Nobody wants to go to Florida. No. Yeah. I, yeah I think your silly colleges and your, yeah. Or mascots, a, some duck or bird or something that flies away when the hurricane hits. That's why we're the hurricanes. <laughs> Idiots. Well, I mean, college football had a game in Dublin. Really? Yeah. The oh first game gosh. of college football season this year was played in Dublin. It was Georgia versus FSU. Maybe. I can't remember who yeah. played, but think oh, about See, again, FSU, Florida State University. Nobody wants to go to Florida. They'd rather go to England or Ireland. But we're paying tax dollars are being used to play a college football game in another country. What is wrong well, with this what's, country? What's wrong with that, Ron? It's football. That's America's sport. I thought baseball was America's sport. I don't know. It <laughs> changes every season. And nobody seems to care about college baseball at all. No. No. I didn't know that was a thing. College baseball? I, I, I'm i joking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd be well aware to not know because nobody, it's not like it's ever yeah. advertised. But I just I, it blew me away that we were spending yeah. tax dollars. Yeah. Send these players to play a game in Ireland. Yeah. What is that? Are we hoping that a bunch of people from Ireland decide to go to FSU? Yeah. Hey, I'm sure they will. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's right well, on their list of know, things. It is. I mean, well, FSU is known for their, you know, shillelagh craft and, <laughs> you know, potato farming. <sighs> yeah, they're going to yeah. leave their... 100% paid for public school system to right. go to <laughs> the United States yeah. to go to yeah. a mediocre at best Florida college. Yeah. So is FSU D1? Yes. Yeah. Uh, They're in the SEC, yeah. I think. Okay. I mean, I I could see if some of these sports, like you said, I mean, football used to be exciting. There were less penalties. It was more action. You know, that's, I, I, I mean, I'm biased, but I went to my youngest uh, high school field hockey game the other day. It was great. Yeah, there were some whistles flown or blown, and I, you know, a certain assistant chief on another shift tried to get me thrown out, but you know, just egging me on, egging me on <laughs> to try to say something to the ref. Oh, nice. But, no, I mean stuff like that, like like lacrosse, <laughs> field hockey, rugby. Those are it, even soccer. They're moving. There's not a bunch of stops and stuff. Keep the game flowing. And stop messing with the game. Yeah. The, yeah. Foot, uh, specifically football, in my lifetime of watching football, has decided to just change so many fundamental things. Yeah. That it's become... I mean, pass interference is the dumbest thing they have oh in the game. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. You just throw the ball and hope that your defender hits somebody. Good. Right. Uh-oh. Yeah, or, you know, oh, what, the quarterback has the ball? Well, it's only two-hand touch against him. Yeah. Well, oh, that's Tom Brady. Well, yeah. 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 
Hmm. Well, and there were some quarterbacks they had to take it easy on because they were getting up there in age. Yeah, yeah. it's fair. But, Stop yeah, playing. Like exactly. Yeah, it's like us with the fire department. We know we're getting old. We're going to retire. Yeah. 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 You're yeah, choosing I, to go out there and well, again, what what's the minimum salary probably for somebody riding the bench in the NFL? Oh, I think it's like two hundred fifty thousand oh, dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you make if you make the team, I think it's like two fifty. Gee, many Christmas. Yeah. That's <sighs> why I always said I'll be I'll be Coy Detmer. I'll be a placeholder. I'll go up there yeah. and hold the ball for you to kick it, and I'll make my two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars, and I'll go back to the locker room. Yeah. Just fine. Yeah. 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 I'll, yeah. 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 My luck, though, it'd be the one like the kicker'd muff it. I'd have to pick it up and run with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not here to do something, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, screaming as I get demolished. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. But you know what? Still made $250,000. Still made $250,000. Oh yeah, like I, I always think about the the old school guys like Jim Brown and like even like Johnny Unitas and the, the guys made like no money in the league. They made like yeah. ten thousand dollars a season. Right. Yeah, they, but uh, they were also uh, playing for the like the prestige of it. Oh yeah. 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 But like Joe Namath only made all his money because he did all this, you know, hoard himself out for ads. Yeah. It's oh, not yeah. wrong. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the when um, Dan Marino with his isotoner gloves. <laughs> OJ Simpson? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Not, oh, no, 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 no. We shouldn't really talk about OJ. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well, and now what uh, college kids can get um, promotions, right? Yeah, In they get paid for things. their likeness. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think they get straight up just paid. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not sure how it all works hmm. because like I'm sure Salisbury's not paying their kids to play football. You know, big D three flight seven A <laughs> school or something, whatever the hell they are. Flight seven A. Um, there's less yeah. kids that go to Salisbury than live in my neighborhood. It's not a big school. No, there's more kids that go there than live in your neighborhood. What? Are there eight thousand people in your neighborhood? Uh, probably. Oh, okay. Let's look it up. Do they take thousand, thousand kids in an SU? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Salisbury University population. <laughs> uh, 7,123. Uh, Brookside, Delaware, which is the greater area of my neighborhood 14,353 jeez okay all right mm. so yeah yeah okay <laughs> half the size of the city of Salisbury mm. yeah oh oh mm. I'm sorry it's gone down mm. 20 okay, I oh no, no 2024 is the 14,327 okay mm. hey SU has a marching band now well, my neighbor's getting one. <laughs> Evidently, you need one. <laughs> Along with a D2 school. Golly day. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a small school. It's fine. Yeah. But they are. But I'm sure they're not paying their athletes. I, I, can't, I can't imagine that money, that program makes enough money to do it. The only program anybody <laughs> seems to care about. Yeah, they pay them. They're, at the end of the game, they're like, here's your voucher for a French fry or pretzel at the concession stand. <laughs> right. Because if the only program that anybody at that school cares about is mm-hmm. their lacrosse. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even, first, like, 10 years I worked there, I didn't even know they had a football team. Yeah. 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 You know, I don't. It's kind of sad. At the, the four and a half years I went there, I never went to a sport. You never went to any sport the whole time you're there. No, really. <clears throat> yeah, no. I enjoyed going to the Delaware games as yeah. a student. Probably looking back, I wish I had. Get to the student section. section. Yeah. yeah. Well, college college sports seem to be like 
to me, the pinnacle of sports because it's not the professional where they're getting paid buku and all that. And it's not high school where it's, you know, a little bit more of favoritism. I would say that's true at the D1 flight A, double A level and lower. At D1 yeah. schools, it's not like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it gets a lot more pomp well, and like, stance. You're watching Alabama beat up on Mary Beecham's school for wayward girls and you know <laughs> eight games out of the year they're, they're playing nobodies yeah yeah that's true but you go to like delaware plays a bunch of schools that they're competitive with because yeah. they're not they're not so high up that they're playing you know. right that's what that's what maryland kind of did they kind of screwed their fans over it's like they're, they moved up to the pack 10 14 whatever that yeah in. whatever it is and uh which I don't know how you'd be a, a Pac-10 when there's more than 10 schools. It doesn't make any sense. But they play three games against real teams, and then the rest of the games they play against scrubs. You know, they play Towson. Yeah. It's whoop up on Towson. I'm surprised they don't beat beat up on Salisbury like Delaware does against Delaware, uh, Delaware State. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe they will. Um, well, they lost to Michigan State yesterday. Oh, well. Twenty-seven, twenty-four. Which again, I mean, that <clears throat> should be a good, should have been a good game. I mean, you know, a tight score like that the week before is against UConn. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, they're playing at Penn State at the end of November. Well, that's cool. Yeah, but yeah, I mean that 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 is the nice thing about Maryland is <clears throat> they now get to play real teams. Yeah. yeah. God, yeah. Still, I'm, I'm still three tickets at a baseball game, five hundred dollars. That's ridiculous. That's why I don't go. uh, I mean, I don't want to go to football games. You, you, you're spending a thousand dollars to go to a football game. Yeah, and it's more fun to sit in your own house and watch it. Yeah, which I can't even do because I don't have cable anymore. Yeah, somebody at, or yeah, the other day they were asking, "Oh, you see?" I was like, "I where I cut cable, I I can see some games, I guess. I don't know." Um, I think you watch them on Hulu now. I don't know. I don't know. How it works. Yeah, or was it at Prime? You get Thursday night football. You get Thursday night football through Prime. Yeah. So whatever. Oh, they didn't play yesterday. Weird. Well, move yeah. on to the old topic two. Sure. Topic two. I sent you a text about this earlier, so you could start to think a little bit. We've got yeah, the new either. Dragon Age coming out October 31st. Halloween drop. It's a bold move. Yeah. Guy. So I've been keeping pretty, like, trying to not to watch a bunch of trailers and stuff like that about it. I know we both liked some of the earlier Dragon Age games. You know, what mm-hmm, is there anything mm-hmm. specific you want from this game? So you could, you sent me this text. And, yeah, you know, I had to wake up and think about it. <laughs> and um, the thing that I think I don't have a good answer is because I think I'm wrong. Because I, I would I would love to have. I feel like one of the Dragon Ages really screwed up because there was no healing and it, it just like yeah, it, that's what I was going to say I mean the healer needs to be able to heal yeah that's one thing I would say but but then maybe I'm wrong because what if Bioware just comes out with an awesome game that's completely different than the other Dragon Ages which just seems like kind of what they do with Dragon Age right yeah it's, yeah yeah each game has been drastically different than the other yeah but I would like a healer that heals yeah it was very frustrating not having a healer yeah. In Inquisition, is that the one that didn't have a healer? Yes. Yeah. 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 And somebody's probably gonna be like, "No, you idiot! You're, you're, this was how you." No. There was no healer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're gonna craft potions between every match. I really enjoy the first person ish view. Of, you know, like the party. It's not like a top down view party game. Like that's how Dragon yeah. Wage was great. Yeah. But then again, I, I don't want to be like, no, it has to be this, or because then you might not enjoy the game because it's not that, and it could still be a very good game. Yeah, 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 I get that, and I'm hoping this is, you know, old school Bioware, not just cash in Bioware. Yeah, I want Bioware 
to give me a good story. Yep. Right. Like you, you demand a good story out of Bioware. That's like their thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to have the option to talk to somebody and me to want to skip through the options. I want to actually pay attention to what's happening and put thought into my decisions. I'm going to say, I don't want any global events. I don't want that mini game that's happening outside of the game. Oh, uh, okay. That they yeah. have the general's table in Inquisition. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. all this other. I don't want all that nonsense. I just want a nice, well crafted RPG. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we've, we've been missing that. Like, and Baldur's Gate showed us that yeah. people want that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. Healers that heal. Those character interactions, the yeah, I want the party members to care about the decisions I make. Yeah, well, that which is a big Bioware thing. That is a big Bioware thing. <sighs> yeah, I want I want the decisions to matter. Yeah, which I feel like the last couple Bioware games it hasn't mattered. Yeah, yeah, and not it's just like Dragon you could Age. be with somebody who's like, yeah, we'll say you know super lawful good or whatever. And you're like, Oh yeah, let's burn this orphanage to the ground. And they're like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. I don't want that. No, no. It's, I want it to scratch the itch that old Republic scratches, you know? Yeah. I, I want an old school Bioware game. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. But I don't want to be like so like telling you it must be this. I I just want Bioware to be Bioware. Yeah. Don't yeah. be you don't have to be Blizzard. Right. Because that's not what you do. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're not gonna be, you know you're not creating the next Oblivion, you're creating the next Bioware game, you know. Yeah. You're yeah. not Todd Howard. Yeah, you're, cre- yeah, you're creating the next Bioware game that is set in the Dragon Age world. Right. That, that's what I ultimately want out of Bioware. Is yeah. it to feel like Bioware. Yeah. Because they've done amazing games, but I feel like they've done amazing games 10 plus years ago. Yeah. It just feels sad. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I'm probably a minority of this, but like, if I put a different helmet on, I want it to look different. <laughs> I'm yeah. I usually turn my helmet off. Yeah, I usually do too. But why yeah, make or whatever? Quirky. You know, I get a different sword. I want it to you know actually show up. Yeah, of course, totally. But I would rather the loot drops be fewer and further between. I, I don't need to like. Oh, you killed this guy. He's got two swords and a piece of armor to pick up. Oh, you killed that guy. He's got the, you know, three pieces. Right. It's like, no, wait, spread it out a little bit, you know, make it more rewarding. If I'm getting it every drop, it's like, meh. Because then this you got to go through and you got to delete a bunch of stuff. Or, unpopular opinion, but I don't want to deal with any crafting. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to have to deal with it. It's never good. Yeah. I could see some minor crafting, maybe. Like, you know... To get, you know, the best armor, weapon, whatever, you've got to find some things. But I don't want it to be, oh, well, you need 10 tiddlywinks to make this. And then 10 more to make, you know, upgrade it to the next level. Yeah, I just, every time you play a game that has crafting, it always feels like a chore that I don't want to be involved in. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just finished... Elden Ring again. And I I have so much stuff, like items that I could craft into things, but I didn't craft anything. Really. I, I crafted some arrows a few times just because I needed some on the fly. But yeah, there's all those things. But again, as I'm going through, I'm picking up every stupid thing because my little lizard mind is like, there's a shiny there. You gotta pick it up. So what do you think about Dragon Age and the classes? Like, do they do you think they need to strike back to the old school? Was it the yeah. chanters and all of those things? 
Oh yeah, it was. What there were three or four? It was like you were like their healer. It was like it wasn't the healer like a druid kind of thing. Well, it wasn't the and thing there that you had? I thought they were called chanters. Or am I just I making know. that up in my head? I can't remember. Not Dragob, Dragon. Um, I think. Man, I can't remember. Because uh, I remember my first playthrough, I played a sword and board. 100%. Yeah. Which was fine. That's all I. That's yeah. All I really need in life is a sword and board. Because uh, there was an NPC healer. I remember that. Uh, Dragon Age Origins classes. Warrior, Rogue, and Mage. It was just called Mage. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Humans and elves can be of any class. Dwarves are unable to be mages. See, I like that. Yeah. No, I do too. Yeah. Yeah. And then the warrior had the Berserker, the Champion, and the Reaver, and the Templar. Yeah, I think I played a Templar. Berserkers, primarily dwarves. Elves can't be berserkers. Yeah. See, I, I like that. You know, oh, you you can't do certain things. Yeah, your decisions make. Yeah, the, yeah, it's one of the things I dislike about D and D now is that everybody can be the everything. chantry. That was the the Templars worked for the chantry. That's what it was. Yep. The rogue, you had assassin, bard, duelist, and ranger, and then mage, arcane warrior, which were elves. Blood Mage, Shapeshifter, and Spirit Healer. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be a yeah. healer. Yeah. I mean, that's... Or you got to have it... You have to at least have a healer in your party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm like you. Yeah, I, th- I think my first one I did Sword and Board also. Or no, maybe okay. I did great the Great Weapon, but still. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I believe Tanky. I did a te- Templar te- Sword and Board. Yeah. But yeah, I that's... Hmm. I, I, and it, I want, it makes sense that I don't know what what are the the horny guys the canari yeah 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 it would make sense that you know they wouldn't be able to be certain classes you know just mm-hmm. like humans probably couldn't be something else, you know it just yeah well, make, that's like the old school make the D&D. characters make sense yeah, the old school D and D thing right like humans aren't great at anything but they can be anything yeah. Uh, but now in D and D, that's gone. It's everybody can be anything. Oh yeah, yeah. You could have a gnome be a berserker barbarian. Like, right. right. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Or a yeah. You could have a. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to the game. Hundred yeah. percent. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, it's on my list of there, games to get. Yeah. There's actually a podcast that like leads up to it. It's like a eight part. It's not oh, like a podcast. Lost it's like, oh, hello. You're back. You're back. Okay. Yeah. There's like an eight part, like, I don't know, audible story that leads up to it. Oh, that's cool. On, uh, it's on a lot of, I think it's, I can't remember what it is. I don't know if I don't make dragon age, whatever. Blood oath or something. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm going to listen to that before kind of get yeah. back up on the story. Um, as of this point, Bioware has not sent us a uh, pre-release <laughs> test kit. So hashtag not an ad. Yeah, not an ad at all. Send it. Um. <laughs> well, we're not a game yeah, idiot. Idiot. podcast. God. Yeah, they're sitting there going, "Wait, the, the mythic giraffe is it? Well, they got to be big if they send us a request." <laughs> I mean, uh, they don't have to be big to be. No. Fans, no, yeah, yeah, but I'm looking forward to like you. I'm looking forward to checking it out, seeing what's about. Because right now, I don't. I just got the new Astrobot game. That's going to be my you know fun right now because it's dumb, campy, act like a little kid fun. No. I'm just waiting for that Frostpunk sometimes. Frostpunk too. Uh, that's, that's all I want. This Frostpunk too. That's all yeah. I want. 
Yeah. See, I thought about doing. I was, you know, I beat Elden Ring. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get the DLC. And it's like, yeah, it's a sixty plus hour expansion. I'm like, I don't know if I want to put sixty more hours into Elden Ring. Wow. That's a yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 So I was like, God. I mean, yeah. some people really, really, really love that game. So Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the people that play, you know, oh, I'm on New Game 32. I'm like, sure. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Because I, I played Destiny for seven years. I'm happy with where the story ended. I don't right. know that I want to play a lot more Destiny. I might hop in right. here and there, but I think, I don't know. It, you know it's fine to move on. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel about Halo. I've played Halo mm. most of my yeah. life at this point, and I'd be happy if it would just stop putting out crappy games and just be done. Yeah. Well, did you see what was the game that Sony just put out, Concord? No. It was kind of, it to me, I never tried it. It looked like their version of kind of Overwatch meets Apex Legends. Uh, they put it, I mean, they even made a controller for it like had a specific controller design that you could buy and everything. Wow. I think after a week and a half, they pulled it and issued full refunds. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen a game die that fast. Right. And if anything, I, I could see him like, Oh yeah, it's free to pay play now. Nope. Wow. Yeah. That's so. uh, that's a spicy yeah. meatball. Yeah. So maybe that's, Sony realizing that not everything should be the live service always on kind of thing. Um, no, that's never going to happen. <laughs> no, it's not. No. No. Money. It's all about money. So it's, it's all about money, which, you know, they are a business. It's their yeah, job I, money. I, get, I get that. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I'm hoping we both enjoy Dragon Age. Yeah. It's what Dragon Age, the, oh God, what's it called? Night Wolf or something? Or no, Veil Guard. Yeah, yeah, the Veil Guard. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that's what you are part of the Veil Guard. I hear the, the wife stomping around. The pitter patter of feet. Uh, <laughs> it's dangerous. See, I just have a small child in the house, so. Right. It's not really that's small. The, that's the wrap up sign. It's time to do chores. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Laundry and groceries. Woohoo! I know. I don't want to go to the grocery store. Yeah. It's so terrible. Yeah. I'm just going to put my earbuds in and ignore the world. That's a fun time. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, thanks for listening, folks. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this cast of the pod. Go out and enjoy your pumpkin uh, spice. Wear your little fuzzy turtlenecks. Yes. Your Uggs boots your and Uggs your knit boots. caps. Yeah. And uh, yeah, be good to each other. Yeah, and stay rad. I don't know. I tried to go <laughs> inner Keanu, and I I failed. Stay rad. <laughs>